Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be going over how you can get the Metal Visa card through the Crypto.com application and also touching on the main differences between the different cards that you can get. Now, if you don't already have an account on Crypto.com, down in the description, I'll post a tutorial video on how you can create an account and sign up to get things started. But in this video, I'm going to make the assumption that you already have an account. So what you need to do in the bottom right hand corner where it says card, we're going to click on that. And then we need to select a card. Now, I think the best bang for the buck is going to be the Jade Green Royal Indigo level, which is 4000 US dollars to stake for this level of card. And what you get, 3% back on card spend. You get 100% reimbursement on Spotify and Netflix. You also get a 10% stake reward on that money that you're staking for this card and access to the airport lounge. Now, if you go down a level to the 400 US dollar tier, which is the Ruby Steel, you also get a metal card. And what this one does, it cuts off so you don't get the Netflix. The percentage gets bumped down to 2% back on card spend, and you no longer get lounge access or that 10% back on the staking for this card. And to go down one step further, I don't recommend getting the Midnight Blue. It strips out pretty much any of the benefits that all the other cards come with. You get 1% back on card spend. And it's also not a metal card. It's going to be a plastic card. Now going up to the $40,000 staking level with the Icy White or Rose Gold option. And the main differences here is you're also going to get reimbursed for Amazon Prime in addition to Spotify and Netflix. The CRO stake rewards go up to 12%. You get 5% back on card spend. You also get an additional 2% extra earnings in Crypto Earn and 10% back on Expedia. And then going up one additional level, the $400,000 Obsidian. And the differences here between the $400,000 Obsidian option and the level prior is you get bumped up to 8% back on card spend. And then additionally, also 10% back on Airbnb. But other than that, it's pretty similar to the level prior where the main difference is that bump up to 8% back on card spend. But like I said, I think the most bang for the buck is the Jade Green Royal Indigo option. And it's going to be quite a bit more obtainable with 4,000 US dollars in staking as opposed to the levels higher that are 40,000 and 400,000 respectively. So for this example, I'm going to select the Royal Indigo. So I'm going to click that blue button there down towards the bottom. And then it's going to tell you what card you're applying for. And you have three more steps to finish this card application where we're going to need to purchase CRO and we're going to stake and hold that for at least 180 days. After that period of time, we can take our money back out. But if you do that, you're also going to lose the benefits that come along with having this card to begin with. So it's a pretty good idea just to keep that CRO staked in there so you can continue to get those benefits. And then, of course, accepting the card's terms and conditions and verifying residential address and social security number. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. So for this tier, we need to purchase and hold 4,000 US dollars of CRO, holding period 180 days. After that, you can transfer your token back to your wallet, no strings attached. So I'm going to click where it says purchase and hold CRO for 180 days. And then you need to select a funding option. I'm just going to use a debit card that I've linked up to my account. And if it's within that 30 day period after creating your account, you're not going to get a fee on that purchasing with a debit or credit card. And then at the bottom, I'm going to click where it says stake CRO for 180 days. And then I'm just going to check this box where it says I understand that a 0% fee is required in this instance for the purchase and then click continue. And then you can just double check to make sure everything checks out on this confirmation page. And then you can click confirm at the bottom and then enter in your six digit passcode. And then it's just going to take a little bit of time, but eventually it takes us over to this CRO state complete page where it's going to show us how much CRO that we staked and how long it will be held for 180 days in this instance. Tap anywhere to continue. That's going to take us over to the crypto.com visa card terms and conditions page. You can look over these and check these three boxes after you've confirmed and read over the information. And then we can click confirm at the bottom. And then it takes us to this page where it says the crypto.com visa card terms and conditions is now complete. Tap anywhere to continue. So now going back to the homepage of the crypto.com application, we can see that the total balance has now increased based on that staking of the crypto.com coin. And if we want to see the status of our crypto.com coin staking, we can go down to the bottom and click where it says accounts and then open up our crypto wallet. And then we can click on the crypto.com coin. And then from this page, we can see our CRO stake. And then it says unstake in 179 days from now. So you have to wait that 180 day period before you can unstake these coins. But if you do unstake, you're going to lose the vast majority of the benefits that come along with the metal card that you're going to be getting. You do have to keep that in mind. Going back to the home page, if we go to the bottom right hand corner and click on where it says card, it's going to show us which card that we applied for and we can check on the status of our card and whether it's been issued or not. It's going to take a little bit of time for them to make the card and send it out for you. And it's just going to vary based on your location and how backed up that they are with cards that they're currently having to make and send out to people. 
I've heard and seen that this can be as quick as within a couple of weeks, or it can take longer than that. It's just going to depend based on a number of different factors for your particular situation. So I hope this video was helpful going over how you can apply and get one of those metal visa cards through the crypto.com application and going over some of the main differences between those cards. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll catch you back here next time.